All right. Uh, well, Mario, uh, do you want to get us kicked off here? <laughs> yes. Where's Zucky, Zucky though? Oh, uh, I think we we've lost him today, but uh, I can I can see it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, Target's is coming too, so um, he should be here any minute, I guess. Uh, I think yeah. Tarek is uh, getting an MRI right now. So I can, yeah, we can oh, have... okay. Yeah, I think he said he's on his way. So maybe he, he's, he's joined you in, a, in five minutes or something. But uh, if, if you like, we can, we can already start. We don't want to keep people waiting for too long. I mean, that makes sense. So, um, yeah. Uh, welcome, everyone, to today's uh, Twitter space <laughs> with the Sommeliers. Um, today we're going to talk about uh, Eve Lisbon and the Cosmos Conference and, yeah, what, uh, what we learned from there. And, uh, I mean, I wasn't there personally, so, you know, Jack, Jack will give you a rundown, but uh, I, heard, I heard neat things. So, Jack, enlighten us. What, what, what's, what was going on in this one? Well, you know, it, it was uh, a very. Do you mind muting? Uh, I'm getting a little bit of feedback. Um, it was a, a really exciting uh, week in Lisbon. Uh, my, it's actually my first crypto conference since the pandemic started. So, uh, just really a fantastic opportunity to see everyone in person. I see we have uh, Cody Daddy here, who it was fantastic to meet in person. Um, also, Joe, who I met in person uh, immediately prior to the conference, which was kind of funny, and, and not at the conference, but. Uh, this is also notable as the first Cosmos gathering in over two and a half years. So I think the last time everyone got together was at the Interchain Berlin conference, which was summer of 2019, I believe. So it, it's been quite a while since all the Cosmos folks got together. So um, that was a really cool piece of it. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was, uh, a lot of really productive conversations, uh, for, uh, sommelier at that conference. Uh, both Zucky and I, uh, spoke, um, and there was a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of, a lot of things going on. Um, Mario, are there any particular pieces you'd like to hear a little bit more about? Also, if anyone has questions, happy to field those. Um, as most of you probably do know, I did a Q&A, um, so uh, did answer some questions on sommelier, kind of talked about the grand vision, um, as well as sort of where we are now, um, but yeah, any questions? Raul, Joe, Daya Soon? Diaskun? I've never known how to pronounce that, funny enough. Coney, also acceptable if you'd like to jump up on here. Um, but yeah, I guess I can kind of keep talking about Lisbon. Um, oh, Joe, there we go. Thank you, Joe. Add a speaker. Well, welcome, Joe. How's it going? Oh, and Zucky, we got him. Hey, Zucky. Mr. Oh, Hanson Jack. Uh, Zucky, who just showed up. Uh, we're chatting a bit about Lisbon and sort of how that went. Uh, what are your sort of initial impressions from Lisbon? Mine? Yeah. Please help you. Yeah. Okay. What are my initial impressions of Lisbon? Um, Lisbon is a super fun city. Uh, it was extremely chill. It was extremely relaxing. Um, we had a really good time. It was extremely cool to see, like, Spent most of my time in like I did a little bit of near stuff, did a lot of Cosmos conversation stuff, did a lot of Solana Breakpoint stuff. They were all great. Um, uh, Cosmos conversations was like this like sort of extended family gathering that was like really fun and like incredibly well organized. Um, I we didn't know what to expect going in because. Uh, uh, you know, Crypto Zito and friends don't really have necessarily the most event organizing experience in the world, and they like knocked it out of the park. Uh, the event was just incredibly well produced and well organized, um, and that was really fun. It was really fun to have like you know the Osmosis team and the Tendermint team and like Penumbra and Axelar and just like so many different Cosmos chains uh, all 
about connecting and exchanging things over IBC, exchanging, you know, things of value over IBC was really exciting. Uh, it was really exciting to go to Solana, see like, like this massive influx of new people that have come into the Solana ecosystem and sort of like the net addition to the blockchain space. So, you know, that was the other thing. It's really good to be back. It's really good to not have a party every single night to go to. Huh. Um, it's really good to like be able to stop talking for a little while. Oh, well, you can now that you're on the spaces. Um, we, we require you to continue talking. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I agree. You know, it was uh, one thing that I didn't mention earlier when I was speaking was uh, the, the Solana event. Just the massive amount of people that, that were there for that. You know, many of them new to the space, drawn in by huge prizes at the hackathon and, um, you know, the, the growing vibrant community there. Um, I thought that was really cool in, in getting to meet some of the folks behind Anchor and, and some of the NFT projects there as well. Yeah. Um, so um, what was, uh, you know, I, I think that this being a uh, sommelier e Lisbon and Cosmoverse retrospective, um, we had a couple of parties there. We had a lot of conversations about some. Uh, I, I know that you came home very excited about some SOM things. What are the the biggest sommelier takeaways from the, the conference for you? Um, what are the biggest things? Um, one is that, like, how big a thing Cosmify is, is going to be. Um, like, one of, one of the projects that, like, you know, so... Uh, Fede, who's running uh, the, who is the CEO of Tharsis and like sort of the founder of the Edmos project, um, uh, or one of the co-founders of the Edmos project, also uh, a one of really his co-founders, huh? Also a co-founder of Som, yeah. Also a co-founder of Som, right? And like, uh, uh, you know, Fede uh, uh, left us at the spring to go out into the wilderness and and resurrect the uh, long dormant Ethermint project. Um, and we, and, you know, uh, I hadn't really gotten a sense of, uh, of what was happening there. And like everything that we, I learned when I was in Lisbon was just incredibly exciting. Um, and Evmos is going to be an incredibly exciting environment for Similiae to, tar to target and build on top of because it's an EVM that like natively speaks IBC. Um, and like we can directly, you know, there's a plausible path to directly integrating IBC. So we don't have to use the gravity bridge. We can use IBC directly to like do rebalances on on contracts in Evmos, for instance, um, and that is to me like just like incredibly exciting and like one of the most exciting. Things. And I'm just like so bullish on Evmos. Um, you know, like it's the combination of Cosmosm, Agoric, and Evmos that sort of really sets uh, uh, Cosmos up to feel like really materially different from what it does like right now uh, in 2022. Do either of you two have a favorite new project you learned about there that you had very little knowledge of before? Oh, that's a great question. Um, for me, it was the uh, gambling, the sports gambling platform that someone's working on on top of the SDK. It's just they're fairly much further along than I anticipated. And, uh, I thought that was really cool. So it just like pulls an oracle from like ESPN or something like that? Or is it just like privately settled? I, you know, I need to, I need to chat with the founder a little bit more. Um, they have uh, an existing business that they're porting over to an SDK chain, it looks like. So I don't know what the current state of the art on, um, on that is. Hey, either way, it's fun. Let's get some gambling on IBC. Let's I go. know, right? <laughs> um, also, thanks for joining us, Joe. Hey, uh, Tariq, welcome. I also see Crypto is here. Oh, hey, Crypto Does he want to see him? Well, I, I've invited him to speak, so if he wants to jump up, he's more than welcome. Um, Tariq, uh, how, uh, what were your, some of your impressions from uh, Eat Lisbon and Cosmoverse? Or maybe Tariq is just here partially. Mike, not working. Okay, um, so uh, I think, <coughs> I think uh, yeah, but... 
Yeah, so it, as far as stuff for Sommelier, as Zaki mentioned, I think there's a lot of, be a lot of partnership opportunities with apps building on top of Evmos. Um, the, um, the, the opportunities are definitely there. It was also really good to see a huge chunk of the team in person and uh, get some time to sort of talk through some issues. We did make some good progress on the end-to-end -end integration test work. Um, hey, Tariq, welcome. So, hey there, hey there. <laughs> you might be hearing me banging on my phone <laughs> the screen, being like, mute. <laughs> um, All right, that's where it's... Nice, well, we can hear you now. Um, so how, what were, your, what were some of your uh, impressions from Cosmoverse 3? <laughs> Well, well, first of all, I want to say, did we talk about our boat, the, the sommelier boat? I missed the boat, so I, I did not. Okay. That. Yeah. Jack, you got to stop missing the boats. You, you just got to, you got to oh. get some so you don't miss the boat. <laughs> wow. Well, Tariq, I think you just summed it up in one quick sentence, but that was excellent. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, yeah, so we, we had a very successful boat event. We want to thank everybody that showed up and, and made sure that it didn't sink the boat, um, particularly the Admos team. Um, which were our VIPs in the book party. So thanks, Fede and team. Um, also thanks to the sommelier team members who um, essentially led the book party, which was a massive success. We had a big purple boat um, uh, anchored to the bay um, because you know Zaki has experience with sinking boats and crypto events. Um, so that was rocking. Um, also Cosmoverse was amazing. Thank you, CryptoCito. Um, uh, you know, I'm just echoing points Jack, you made. Also Zaki made a great, um, Protocols. I, I ended up in the sauna room at a hotel with um, one of the founders of Celestia. Oh. Um, and while we were, we were sweating it out, um, I learned that Celestia is doing ZK rollups as an L1 um, for various chains, so as a show security model. Um, I don't know if that's the same way to say it. Yeah, but that's what Celestia is very exciting. Yeah. Uh, and so just amazing so um, that Cryptocito was able to get so many great projects aboard. And of course, uh, um, I think one of the cool stuff um, happened at the Cosmoverse. Um, Sonny was walking around in his, his uh, um, Osmosis Labs outfit with, with, with yellow hair and, and a bathrobe. I thought that was, I couldn't forget that. That was fantastic. Other things that I couldn't forget was the Bostrom launch. Um, speaking of crypto, Cito, we have the man himself here. Uh, thank you for joining us. Yeah. What's up? What's up? Hey. Hey, hey. How's yeah. it going? Man, that was uh, really grateful for the kind words. Um, I mean, I, I still, we, we took a week off at the Algarve with the boys, with the team, to like just process everything, you know, because, I mean, I joined Cosmos relatively recent, so just for me to like have everyone in that room. And then Jay Kwan, last minute, sent a message, this letter, which went a bit, little bit kind of like under and in the masses of all these keynotes and all the talks and presentations. But so many things that happened. And Ethan's rap, um, memorable time Ethan's, to rap. Ethan's um, rap. I, I've been waiting yeah, for Ethan's yeah, release for years at this point. <clears throat> yeah, it's just so many things and so many projects. And just to meet everybody was absolutely amazing. And I think for us, the mission was really to get all of you guys in one room. I know I think over the last year, year and a half, there has been um, yeah, a little bit of uh, yeah, different opinions and different, different camps also in the community, but just to see like everybody in the same room, exchanging ideas, talking. I think there was a lot of fruitful discussions also um, from people that are in Cosmos, but also outside of Cosmos. So I was really excited to see that as well. Um, and yeah, it's been a great week, and we just took a week off here at the Algarve, and um, yeah, uh, I think we're all re-energized a little bit now, and then get back to to business as usual. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I know I definitely am. I'm glad you guys were able to take a week off. That's awesome. And, uh, you know, I, I know that the Cosmoverse is happy to have you back. Yeah, I mean, I think next week, next year is going to be is going to be 10x bigger than, than this year. And this year was already big. I think we had over 700 people that actually showed up over both days and then the after party um, with another <clears throat> 200 people there. So it was already a huge success with literally eight weeks of preparation to get this done. 
Yeah, it's insane, insane, man. man. We have, I, I can't believe it. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't believe Wait. it. Yeah. Me too. Was that the plan? Were you planning to have 700 people show up? I mean, in the beginning, it was literally maybe 100, 150. I remember the first time we went to the to the venue, to the Corinthia. I told them, like, hey, you know, maybe we can get 100 people. That would be super cool. Half the event, you know, maybe a few speakers. And then the first day filled up really fast. And then at one point, we had to take the decision, do we make it two days? Because, you know, for people to fly in from Korea, from Hong Kong, from the U.S., you don't want to just fly in for, for one day, right? So we had to really <clears throat> decide... Did we make a second day? And I think it was also still in time for for most people to say, okay, I'm coming. Like, I don't remember, Jack, you, you were like, you know, I think two weeks before you said, okay, I'm coming. I think like, it that was about uh, three weeks. Yeah, I, you know, <laughs> I think there, there was a point of keeping me, keeping me at home, and then Zaki was like, we got to go, we got to go. <laughs> and I'm so glad I did. That was uh, it's the most fun I've Yeah, even Zaki, I remember. I remember that in the beginning, Zach was like, yeah, unfortunately, I can't make it. Like, okay, hold on, I'll, I'll get Zachy, don't worry. I'll get Zachy, I'll get Jack. We'll get it down. And then suddenly... You, you got Tariq, which is how you got We got Tariq. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was surprised because I didn't even know that Tariq was coming. And then suddenly the entire Osmosis team shows up at the hotel. The entire <laughs> team. Was, like, I, I just... Because I came to the hotel a little bit earlier, like two, three days earlier. And then I suddenly see these tournament logos in the meeting rooms, and I'm like, what is happening here? <laughs> and I just heard that, you know, there's, oh yeah, there's there's 20 people from the team. And I'm like, that's crazy. Like, literally, the whole tournament team was there. Pung was there, the CEO of tournament. I mean, yeah, it's just crazy, like, how, you know, how quick this escalated. But I think it also shows that it was overdue especially from the community, and also shows basically the strength of the cosmonaut community. And, and we're all the same boat in, in the end of the day. If you like a cash more than, than a Terra or a Sentinel or whatever you like, it's all part of the broader <coughs> Cosmos family or Cosmos ecosystem. And you could really see that at Cosmos. I think one of the, you know, I want to say for just a good congratulations again, um, a great testament to your commitment and, and execution. Uh, I think everything was packed, sold out um, and overflowing. Um, and I, I can't wait to see the, the, the sort of Cambrian explosion <clears throat> of partnerships um, that we're going to see happening, um, particularly, you know, with things like uh, Sage, which was the um, gambling um, decentralized betting um, protocol that uh, Jack was referring to, and even Atmos, um, and then the Atmos team uh, fully. Everybody there, I think, compared to a lot of the other events, I want to I want to distinguish Cosmoverse um, from a lot of the other events I was able to jump into. Um, there were just a lot of serious players, um, people who were serious builders uh, looking to build and execute. It was less about um, you know showing off um, anything, you know, any particular success, and more about uh, you know, coming together, um, networking with colleagues, and finding opportunities to build. I, I can't express how many meetings I was pulled into where people were planning new things, building new things. Um, that was just amazing. And I think that means that, yes, you're, you're, the next time you, you're organizing this will do even more successful because of how um, effective and productive it was. So, so I want to say thank you as well, um, you know, from the Simili team, because uh, we've definitely have some new partnership opportunities in there that, um, you know, uh, will be just amazing for us to announce as we continue. So, so great job, and, and we should continue um, to do this type of... of well, I mean, without a doubt, here. this will be one of the most significant events in the history of, of Cosmos, and I think one of the most significant blockchain events. Like, you know, I think people will, will remember this for a long time, so... Uh, you know, the DeFi Times team, like CryptoCito, the whole team. It's just, like, just amazing to that, like, you managed to pull this off. Yeah, man. And, and uh, yeah, the, the, the DeFi Times boys, they're also amazing. And they're, like, full-time cosmonauts um, these days. So also any any project that wants to get get in touch with them, please please do so and talk with them, follow them on Twitter and subscribe to their... They have a newsletter also. They do more, like... Um, articles and interviews. We also like collaborating closely on many other things. But to Tariq's point, also on the 
on the conference, I think one thing that I'm personally most proud of is that on both event days, from morning from the 9 a.m. session to the 6 p.m. session, the venue was full. You never spoke to an empty audience. And that's something that I've done conferences before. Like, this is the biggest struggle to like, keep the audience you know, in the room. Um, and something at um, East Lisbon, which happened 10 days before, I think that a little bit of the struggle that, you know, at 3 p.m., people kind of like, you know, walk around and they talk and then you basically speak to like 10 people or, or 15 people. But at Cosmos, you really had, you know, I mean, we, we had so strong speakers and people just wanted to hear about the project, what, what they do, how they fit into the Cosmos ecosystem, how they implement IBC, what they think about it. Um, and I think people are just curious to hear that. And also the live stream, I mean, the, the live stream broadcast, I think we, we got more than 15,000 views since we uploaded the videos. And I think at the peak, we had 250, 300 people watching live throughout the conference. So it was just the amount of demand and also the kind of like attention span from the audience throughout the event. I think that's also something that I'm personally really proud of because that's the biggest struggle, right? Like people usually come for the drinks, they come to chill, they want to talk and then boom, they leave. But in Cosmos, they really sat in the audience and listened and took notes and asked questions. And I think that's something that's really I mean, cool. Crypto Zeta, that's the first time I've sat down at a conference and listened to a ton of talks in a while. Like I, I myself <laughs> doing it, especially the second day. Yeah, they, yeah, I think and Zucky was and Zucky was in front row seat the first day, and he was like, "I have events I need to be at," and I was like, "Whoa, dude, he's like right up there." Uh, it was very impressive. So quality event. Yeah, we also tried to make it um, as interactive and like different, right? You you mentioned earlier that the bus from Mainnet launch uh, was a bit fucked up with the sound, but I think overall it was still one of the highlights of the event. We had a Mainnet launch during. Cosmos, absolutely insane. And I saw just Sunny rushing into the room and he listened to the whole kind of like presentation. He said, this was amazing. This was one of the coolest things I've ever seen. You know, like having a Genesis launch during a, cos uh, during a conference, <laughs> that's also something um, crazy, I think. And But yeah, we, we got this all done. And thanks to all of you also and all the sponsors. I mean, we, there was also one thing we had to always consider is like, you know, to not get ourselves wrecked with the finances here. Because it's all routed through the through the DeFi times through their company, which is a very young company, right? So they never dealt with such amounts um, before. But then suddenly, you know, you have all these all these high amounts of value flowing back and forth, and pay the venue, and pay this, and pay that. But yeah, I think everyone is super happy. Um, lots of connections were made, and that was our goal. So mission accomplished. Well done, sir. Well done, and and here's the next year. And, and getting ready for it. Um, when will you guys start organizing and, and letting folks know about Cosmoverse 2022? So the funny thing is, I got um, here in Lisbon, or well, I, right now I'm in Sevilla, but in Lisbon, um, there's a guy um, who works at the Ethereum Foundation. And the Ethereum Foundation, they're working on the, the DEF CON in Bogotá next year in Colombia. Mm -hmm. And um, they have basically, or he kind of like asked me, hey, when do you plan to do Cosmos next year? Because it looked pretty cool. And um, so there might be, so I think what we're trying to do, we try to do it maybe in the same week, at least in the same month as DEF CON, um, which would be fall next year. And then also in, not in Bogota, but in Medellin, so also in Colombia. <clears throat> and I think that's a cool um, that's a very cool location. I mean, I've, I've lived there for almost a year, so it's one of my favorite cities in the world. And the, the people are really excited to like learn about crypto in general. Um, so, for next year, Medellin. Wow. <laughs> Book your flights and practice your Spanish. That is Papa awesome. I... <laughs> <laughs> <Call me Daddy. laughs> uh, well, that, I, and I think it was, what kind of weather is that? Is it going to be like tropical, mainly weather? So that should be all, so, all shirts and... Yeah, Medellin is the city of the eternal spring, so it's always like 25, 30 degrees nice. Celsius. Nice. Um, nice. Towards the end of the year, that's why I told the Ethereum Foundation guys, like, let's not make it too late because, you know, December, November, December is when the rain season starts. So I think September, October would be better. Um, but yeah, it's always warm there. So temperature-wise, it's perfectly fine. Awesome. 
I gotta run. Well, that's awesome. All right. We should be there. All right. Well, thanks, Zucky. Thanks, Jack. Thanks, Tripacito. Thank you, everyone, for attending. And uh, until next week, uh, we'll see you. Wave from Sommelier. Have a good one. All the best. Thanks. And thank you, Mary. Thanks, guys. Love you all. Take care.